ultrasonic distance sensor. A really easy one to use is the model SRF05. So the SRF05, uh, you can buy it from a company called Robot Electronics and they do a very nice website which shows you how to connect these. So, quite cheap. Uh, let's have a look at the SRF05. If you scroll down, you can get the full technical data. And what you can see here is the wiring diagram. So if you turn it to its back, you can see that it's a five volt supply, an echo pin, a trigger pin, a no connection, and a ground pin. So that will work on five volts as well. So how does this work? Well, you notice the echo pin. What you have to, sorry, the trigger pin. Uh, with a trigger pin, what you do is you give it a short pulse. 10 microseconds minimum pulse, that's your trigger. Then the actual device itself does some ultrasonic stuff. You don't have to worry about that at all. But on the echo pin, it outputs a pulse length. And that pulse length is proportional to the obstacle um, distance. So if something's really close to it, it's a short pulse. If it's further away, it's a long pulse. Now, with the Arduino environment, there is a command called pulse in, which thankfully will do all of that for us. Um, let's find that. Okay, so what I've got here is in this program, I've defined the echo pin digital six and trigger pin three. So that is connected to the pins here. So I've got power on the SRF05 and I've got the pins three and six connected to the Arduino um, echo six, trigger three. Now you can download um, these example programs. Uh, they're rife on the internet. so. No problem with just downloading a, an example program and giving it a try. What you might have to do is make sure that you've got the pins connected into the correct bits. So people's different ex example programs might use the echo and the trigger pins on different pins, for example. So you can see there, oops, that was me, 150 centimetres away. If I get closer to it, you can see it, it changes. So 14 centimetres away. So all I'm doing there is taking the sensor and moving my hand further away and closer, and you can see that it's responding like that. Okay, now just a, a little chat about the program that I've created here. Um, so you've got echo and trigger pins, three and six, uh, set the modes of them. And what I do in my main program is you can see in the main void loop, I, rather than having all the trigger pulses, etc., I just have a function called read distance. So there are ways in programming languages to create functions, and that means that function does something a bit more complicated, but in your main program, you don't have to worry about it. You can just read a distance. You can ignore the commented bit. I was just um, having a bit of fun with that. So the function looks like this. Quite horrendous, really. But if you copy this off the internet, you'll, you'll find uh, being a bit easier for you to understand. I can explain it briefly. The first line, digital right trigger pin low. It's, it's basically giving the trigger pin a low, high, and then a low pulse. Okay, that's the digital right. And then it's making distance a value, which is pulse in. That pulse in reads the pulse length for you automatically from the echo pin. And then it does a little bit of an algorithm, divides it by 58, and that's in the data sheet to give you the value in centimetres. That returns that distance value. So when it returns it, it goes into this read distance, and then you can use it in your main program. So rather than having to do all of that code that you have to worry about, you just say i equals read distance, and that will give you the result.